Alrighty, I want to talk about the fried egg lie today. Look at that golf ball down there. Really plugged, I pushed it into the ground. It's a horrid position that, but there are ways around it. What I need to do on this shot is ensure the club really gets into the sand. And I'm not looking for much of a follow through now. In a normal bunker shot, you've heard me talk about turning the body through. Well, this isn't a normal bunker shot. My club has to go under the ball a lot here. So what I do on this shot here is I lean quite heavily on my left hand side because I'm looking for an up and down motion. I'm not looking for a through motion. I incline my club forwards and that means the club now is going to get into a digging position, which is, is a disaster when you're playing your normal bunker shots. But again, this is not a normal bunker shot. So I'm looking to make contact with the sand quite a bit before it and I'm going to really thump this ball. So I'm in my chopping position, up, chop, and that ball limps out because I've taken so much sand there and I didn't really intend on following through. I can assure you of this, if you get your a sand shot out of the bunker on the green and take two putts, you'll be one of the best bunker players in the club because on average, most uh, uh, club golfers don't do that. So when you get stuck, change your technique and swing in that digging action where you're really chopped down and be aggressive because the sand there is gonna take so much of the force out to the strike. You watch me swing here, I'm leaning forwards, I'm up and down. Really digging down to get to that ball right underneath it. Good luck with that one.